Disclaimer All my videos are for educational purposes only. I am teaching and explaining investment trading to everyone, but I am not giving out any advice. All investments are subject to market risks, so please evaluate carefully before you invest, as you may lose your investment. Hey guys, good to have you back. So in my previous video, I talked briefly about the five classes of investments. But now I want to delve right into each one of them. And what I thought was for the next couple of videos, I would like to talk about the first class of investments, which is the stocks and the stock market. So in this video, I would like to give you a few fundamental basics about the stock market before we go on to the terminologies involved and the different ways and methods of investing in the stock market. So in this video, what I would like to do is I'm going to discuss the difference between an investor and a trader and then go on to talk about the types of risk based investment styles and then talk about the types of company sizes which can be there in terms of the market capitalization and then go on to end with the types of stocks there are in terms of their behavioral patterns. So let's jump right into them. So let's talk about the difference between an investor and a trader. So an investor in a company is a person or a group of people who hold the shares of a company and want the net worth of the shares to increase and grow as the company grows. Over there, they hold the stocks for a long period of time. Whereas on the other hand, Traders buy and sell shares in a very relatively small span of time so that they can make the profit in between. Over there, he doesn't worry about holding the stocks for a long time or wanting that the shares grow as the company grows. Instead, he wants to quickly make the profit by buying and selling of the shares and keeping those realized capital gains with him. So that is the major difference and that is one thing which every person who wants to invest in the stock market has to decide whether he wants to have a long term position in a company and become an investor in a company or make small capital gains by buying and selling and holding the sh shares for a small period of time and become a trader. So now I want to talk about the types of risk based investment styles. So there are three of them and they are conservative, moderate and aggressive. So in conservative, the person wants to invest in a place where he's getting a fixed stream of income, for example, a fixed deposit account. On the other hand, aggressive, is where a person is investing in a place where he is getting a variable stream of income, which depends on a lot of factors, whether he will get it or not. Those places are things like investing in a company in the stock market. Moderate is a blend between the two. It is where a person invests in a blend of having a fixed stream of income and a variable stream of income. So having a fixed deposit account and having shares in a company, which may go up or may go down. But on the one hand, he knows that the fixed deposit account is going to constantly pay him back the interest every year, whereas he doesn't know whether the share of a company can go up or down. And with that, whether he will make money or he will lose money. So you have to be careful when you're thinking about which style of investment suits you, whether you want to go for conservative and know that you will get a fixed stream of income or you want to go aggressive and not know whether you will get an income back or not, or you want to do a blend of both of them, as in the case of the moderate style. Let's move on and now talk about the types of sizes companies can have based on their market capitalization 
or market cap for short. The size of a company is defined when the valuation of a company falls under one of three categories of the market cap. They are large cap, mid cap, and small cap. Now, the US, the UK, and other countries follow one set of metrics in terms of valuing their companies, whereas India follows a completely different set of metrics for valuing theirs. So now talking about the US, the UK and other countries, the large cap is defined where the valuation of a company falls anywhere between 200 billion and 10 billion dollars. The mid cap are those where the valuation falls anywhere between 2 billion dollars and 10 billion dollars. And the small cap are those where the valuation falls anywhere between 300 million and $2 billion. Whereas India has a slightly different metric system, over there, the large cap is defined as the valuation is anywhere above 10,000 crore rupees. The mid cap is anywhere between 2 crores and 10 crore rupees. And the small cap is where the valuation of the company is anywhere less than 2 crore rupees. Now talking about these differentiations, in the recent years, the large cap and the small cap have gotten differentiations as well. The large cap has gotten a differentiation known as mega cap, where the valuation of those companies exceeds $200 billion. And small cap also got a differentiation where they are called micro cap, where the valuation is anywhere less than 300 million dollars. Those are called by a special name known as penny stocks and they are a very volatile but very interesting area of this uh, market capitalizations and I will be talking about these penny stocks in much more detail in a separate video just for these penny stocks so stay tuned for that. So now in my last segment I am going to talk about the types of stocks which exist based on their behavioral patterns. The types are blue chip stocks, growth stocks, cyclical stocks, defensive stocks, and dividend stocks. Now in blue chip stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Walt Disney, they are those companies which are fundamentally and financially stable and they are usually those which are the leaders in their respective industries and they have a huge market capitalization, meaning they will perform very well in the coming years. Then there are companies like Tesla, Amazon, Facebook, which are growth stocks. They are those which are very volatile stocks because they are still in their growth phase and they need to perform well so that their shares do well as well. And they mostly start off in the mid cap region and then later on they can grow to become the large cap companies. Now when we talk about cyclical stocks, they are those like hotel chains, Whirlpool, Nike, basically all luxury brands because they are those which depend on the economy very much. So if the economy does well, then these stocks will also do well. But if the economy is in a recession, then these stocks will tend to do not so well because the people will cut down on these luxury items. On the other hand, defensive stocks are those stocks where the companies will do well even if there's an economic setback because they usually provide staple goods or necessary items. These companies are like Procter & Gamble, Colgate Palmolive, Philip Morris because these are those companies where the people cannot cut down on their products or services which they give. Now, the last one, dividend stocks, are those like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, and McDonald's, where they give out the profits they make every year as dividends, and they are good stocks to hold on to as you get a steady stream of income from these stocks. Now, 
the, there is one type of these dividend stocks which are called dividend aristocrats where they increase their dividends for 50 plus years and they are those which constantly have been giving dividends but every year they increase the amount of dividend they will give which is a very interesting area and I am going to talk about this in my video where I'm going to discuss this dividend stocks in much more detail so stay tuned for that. So guys I take your leave now. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got to learn a few fundamental details about the stock market. Now in my next video as well, I am going to be talking some more fundamental details about the stock market as well as giving a few terminologies involved in this. So until then, take care, thanks for watching, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.